The major reason we keep papers on our desk is so that we can find them again. With the Paper Tiger software, that is no longer necessary. The papers you decide to keep can be divided into two categories, action and reference. If it requires action someone else can do, put it in the outbox. If it is something you need to do, put it in an action file. If it doesn't require action, but you want to keep it, put it in a reference file. Here's how it works. Here's a good article about interviewing job applicants. Are you going to be interviewing candidates soon? Or is it something you might need to look up later? In this case, you might decide you want to read the article before you start interviewing. So the appropriate place to file the item is in your action location. To do this, open the browser window in the Paper Tiger software. Select the location in which you wish to file, in this case, your action location. When you first set up the file folders in your locations, you label them starting with number 1. Now it's time to use those numbers. When you add a name to a location, the Paper Tiger software will assign an ID number. You can then file the paper in the file with that number. You may choose to write the number down on the paper itself or on a post-it note stuck to the paper. This will make it easy for anyone to file the paper again after it's been used. Now I'll help you decide what to name the paper you want to file so you can enter it into the Paper Tiger application. Then you, or someone else, can always find it in a matter of seconds.